Uh, so there I was um, in Mayfield, Kentucky uh, with the Gideon Rescue Company. And there was this young couple that had pulled over uh, for prayer and uh, to receive some of that encouragement. And there was a young man, his wife, and their newborn baby in the vehicle. And he began to tell me how he and his wife uh, both worked at the uh, candle factory there in Mayfield. She was on leave uh, because they had just had birth, or she had just given birth to their newborn baby. And he was still working at the factory uh, the night of the tornado. And as he was there working, he began to get alarms and notifications on his phone that the storm was getting closer and closer. And as he got those first few notifications, he began to communicate his concerns with his co-workers, also his direct manager, and no one seemed to uh, be taking heed uh, to the warnings. But as his phone continued to go off and go off, he began to get more impressed and was more impressed that he needed to leave. And he told me that he looked his co-workers right in the face and said, man, we need to leave now. We don't have time, we need to leave now. And they shrugged off his warning. Um, and it got so bad in his mind that he finally went back to his direct manager, uh, you know, with a lump in his throat and said, I, I just had a newborn baby at home waiting for me. I need to leave. So he gets home and he's there with his wife and his child and the tornado comes and it hits. A two by fours are jutting through the house like bullets. A fence goes through and rips through the middle of the house, he even told me. And he's there in the bathroom with his foot keeping the door shut as the tornado is opening and closing doors. His wife and his baby are inside uh, that tub. And friends, I believe it was uh, God's unseen hand that protected his family. But unfortunately, he told me, every person that he warned, every person he looked in the face and said, we need to get out of here and did not take heed to his warning, they all perished. How true is it? that this world is a type of that candle factory. Hmm. The warning message is going out that Jesus is coming, that destruction and more destructions will increase in intensity and in frequency, and yet the world continues to work and to labor. Uh, the factory machines are still humming, uh, direct managers are still giving orders, business goes on as usual, but we will find like many of those who lost their lives in that candle factory, that the destruction is imminent, friends, and that we need to take heed to the warning just now so we don't perish with the rest of the world.